It was just fate. Or did this man steal a baby? Hey guys, and welcome back to another Gacha Life reaction, where today we are going to be watching The Girl Who Was Two Feet Tall. She must be so small. Before this video starts, I just want to let you guys know that I'm wanting to hit 3 million subscribers, so hit the subscribe button. It's free and it really helps me out. Anyway, let's get on with the Gacha story. I am sorry, but another child will be looking for new parents soon. It happens sometimes. The birth parents change their mind. Oh. Okay, so it looks like we're in an orphanage right now and these two people here are trying to adopt a child. But the birth parents decided to keep the child and that means these adoptive parents won't be able to have a baby. That's kind of sad. Oh, she's so upset. It's okay. I'm sure we'll be able to adopt a different baby soon. Do you want to go see a movie? No, thanks. I'm going to bed. Night. Love you. Hmm, what is this guy up to? He looks like he's thinking. He has a plan. What the heck? Where did he just pull this baby out of? Quick, come in here. Oh my gosh, a baby. I heard a knock at the door, so I answered it, and she was on the doorstep. It was just fate. Or did this man steal a baby? This is a miracle. It must be to do with the adoption agency. I'll give them a call. Wait, what if it isn't them? But shouldn't we tell someone? And risk someone taking her from us? Girl, that could be someone's baby and you're just keeping it. Okay, I think this is highly illegal, but whatever. So we're just gonna act as if she's ours and hope no one comes to collect her? No one will come to take her back. She's just been left here with no note or anything. It's a miracle that she was left Left with us. She's ours now and we won't tell how she got here. How old do you think she is? She's quite small. A bit of extra formula milk will help her grow in no time. She is perfect. What should we call her? Eve. Our little Eve. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Baby just flew out of the crib. That's not a very safe crib if she can just jump out of it like that. Oh my goodness, again. Aww. Oh, you're walking already. I wouldn't say that's walking. It looks like she's running. Eve barely grew in size and she was visibly the smallest in her school. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. I love her. But her parents never worried, as she was their little miracle. Or, you know, someone else's little miracle that they kind of didn't give back. But things got complicated when she got older. She didn't grow at the same rate as her classmates. And even though she was happy and had lots of friends, she wanted a boyfriend. Ooh, who's this cute little boy running across the screen? She liked one boy in particular. So, you still like Jay, I take it? No. Stop. Why? You are cute and he's single. You should totally ask him to the winter dance. Great. Who wants to be cute? I won't bother humiliating myself. He wouldn't be seen dead with me. That's not true. You guys get on great. As friends, we barely know each other. I wouldn't embarrass him by asking. Oh, sorry. Have I upset you? Yes. No. It's fine. I'm used to it. No one is ever going to date me, and I'm fine with it. Oh my goodness, she is so small. I can't get over it. She's so cute. Go on. Hi, Evie. All right, she has turned red like a tomato. She's very embarrassed right now. I can't say I blame her. She just fell in front of him. Uh, hi. Hi. So sorry for badging into you. Are you okay, Evie? Uh... Uh, is that seat taken? Well, I was saving it for... Plus, grab your equipment. We are doing a chemical reaction today. Some people already know what to do. I'll go get the stuff. I hate you, Cassie. You're welcome. I think I got everything. Yeah, let's start, should we? So, why are you so tiny? I'm not being rude or anything. Are your parents small? Not really. So, how come you are? I've never seen someone our age so small. Is it just me who thinks it's a little bit rude to ask these questions. I don't know. I just feel bad for Eve right now. This must be so awkward. And she must get this all of the time. Are you actually interested or are you just making fun of my size? No, I just think it's cute. Oh my gosh, what was that? A little explosion. Are you all right? Who are you, Evie? What the heck? Is he all right? I think he's just fallen down and passed out. I'm still mad at you for doing what you did. No, you're not. You guys got talking. He might never talk to me again because of this. Don't be silly. He's fine, just a little stunned. Oh good, I seriously thought he had like chemicals in his brain and that he was going to die 
guy. It seems he's okay. So tell me again what he said. He said I was cute. Yeah, he did. And you said, who wants to be cute? Did you see the way he looked at me and hear what he said to me before he fainted? Like I was a ghost or something. Don't worry. He likes you. He didn't say that. I'm just gonna go and see if he's okay. Oh, she's going to his house. All right. Is Jay in? Can I see him? He's in his room. He needs to rest. Let whoever it is in. Okay. He's in his room. Oh, it's you. Sorry, it wasn't my fault what happened today. Are you okay? I'm okay. Why are you here? To check on you. You seem mad at me. I'm not mad, but something doesn't feel right between us. Did something happen? Yes, our experiment exploded. I know that part. And then you said something to me? What did I say? You said, who are you really, Evie? Why would I say that? I don't know. I best be off. Evie, you're not like us. You're different. Yeah. I know, I'm too small. No, well, yes, you are small, but you've been hidden here amongst us. Okay, Jay, he's going crazy conspiracy theory right now to cover up your true identity. What are you talking about? Evie, are your parents really your parents? What are you suggesting? I'm adopted? That would make sense. I have these visions and you're not like us. You are crazy. So you're saying that I'm adopted, small, and an alien. Aww. Imagine being told that your parents aren't your parents by your friend. Or more so, by your crush. What's wrong, sweetheart? Mom, can we talk? Is everything all right? And dad? Sure, I'll go get him. Are you okay? You have me and your mother worried. Well, I don't know. What mother are you talking about? What has gotten into you, Eve? Your only mom. Dad, or should I even call you that? I don't know what to think. I'm different, that's for sure. I walked and talked before a baby should, but I never grew lots. That was my first clue. And the fact is that you're not even my real parents, are you? Okay, wow, she's brave just making these statements when she has zero evidence. Of course we are your real parents, sweetie. You are our baby. There is no doubt that you are our baby, but- No, please don't. We aren't your birth parents. We don't know who they are. You were left on our doorstep. The exact same day the baby we wanted to adopt parents changed their minds. So no one knows I'm here. Nobody cared enough to see if I was okay. They just dumped me like the runt of the litter and gave me to parents who didn't want me. We do want you. You were and are a miracle. Little, little miracle. I want to be regular, normal, and I'll never know where I came from because my birth parents didn't give a forwarding address. I know this is a lot to take in. Let's go get some dinner and talk about it. No, I want to be alone. She's gone back to school. All right. I'm adopted. I know. Are you okay? I don't know. My birth parents obviously see I was too small and didn't want me. Don't think that's the reason. How do you know? I don't know how it happened, but every time you touched me, I got a vision. A vision of what? You being your true self. The wolf you're meant to be. You looked different. Mean looking. Me? Mean? Have you seen me? Your birth parents gave you to your mom and dad to protect you. Save themselves from embarrassment for my smallness, more like. Touch my arm and let's see. Oh my gosh, it's gonna get a vision. Whoa, you need to stay hidden. You can't show these powers to the world. How do I stay hidden, Jay? You must never forget the power that is within you. I don't know what that is. I'm scared, Jay. What is happening to both of us? I'm sure we will find out, but I need you to stay safe. I feel like this is happening to me because I've been chosen to protect you. Well, I'm glad it was you who was chosen to protect me. Oh, they're so cute. Uh-oh, what's going on? That was terrifying. No, why did you do that? I don't know. I thought I was supposed to do that. I think that was a trigger, Evie. I don't know what's going to happen now. Wait, is she growing? She is. Touch my arm. I can't see anything. Do you feel different? I feel taller somehow and strong. This is a good thing, not a bad thing that needs to be hidden. Oh wow, she's like normal size now. Oh, her friend's there. She's missing. Have you seen her? I have. Was she okay? She must have run away to find her birth parents. I think she's gone to fulfill her destiny. I have been seeing it in visions. All right, Jay, we didn't believe you from the beginning. What's gonna make these guys believe you now? You just sound crazy. And what is a destiny future boy? To be alpha. Well, that makes no sense. She would be the tiniest of the pack, sure. Surely. Trust me, 
She is not weak. Besides, she's grown a little. She ran off at super fast speed before I could help her. We have to find her. Me and you will go together. Come on. I think I know where she is. I see her in a vision, under a full moon. Is she becoming a wolf? Oh, this isn't going to be some typical werewolf story, is it? Of course not. She's triggered herself to become alpha. What did she do to trigger that? She kissed me. You guys kiss? Yes, and now I don't know how to reverse the trigger. I'm not sure it's that bad. I'll talk to her. She'll be okay. It's more serious than that, Cassie. She has cut off from the real world now. She believes no one loves her and she's gone back to where she was born. Poor Eve, come on, let's go find her. We must destroy all of our enemies tonight, starting with my birth parents. Step forward and explain immediately why you had me adopted as a baby. You were small. I'm not prepared for the dangers ahead of you. We found you the best parents and we know they take good care of you. Do not speak of them. I will banish you as punishment then for yourselves we did it to protect you you done it because i was small and you saw me as weak so who is weak now oh your friends are here you are eve who said that me your best friend i have no best friends i am a lone wolf treat others how you wish to be treat yourself don't send them away forgive them and be grateful that you have amazing parents who are out looking for you right now also jay is with me you know the boy you like and kiss tonight. He didn't know a kiss would make you all scary and powerful. Power has changed you. You may think being taller makes you happier, but being small and cute is who you are. And we love that about you. But I don't know how to switch my powers on and off. Besides, I'm only noticed this way. A kiss with someone you love breaks the spell. Aw, cute. You don't love me. Oh, okay. She's gone back to being small again. We were so worried. Thanks for taking care of our little wolf. Enough of the little! Can we start again and get to know each other? As normal people. I would like that. Big things always come in small packages. Oh, that story was so adorable. If you enjoyed it and you want to watch another, click here and let's go watch it together.